following contains clips from Disney Pixar's Cars, now available on Blu-ray and DVD. Gas and goes for McQueen today. That's right, no tires again. Now, normally I'd say that's a short-term gain, long-term loss, but it sure is working for him. Hey, he obviously knows something we don't know. This is it, Daryl. One lap to go, and Lightning McQueen has a huge lead. Oh, he's got it in the bag. Call in the dogs, put out the fire. We're gonna crown us a new champion. Checkered flag, here I come. Oh no! McQueen is blowing a tire! And with only one turn to go, can he make it? You fool! Ah. McQueen's blowing a tire! McQueen's blowing a tire! Go, 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 go! Ah. He's lost another tire! McQueen and Chick are coming up fast! They're entering turn three! I don't believe what I'm watching, Bob. Lightning McQueen is a hundred feet from his piston cup. The King and Chick rounding turn four. And down his piston cup, and it's and it's it's too close to call. I don't too believe it. Close I don't to call. Believe it. The most spectacular, amazing, unequivocally unbelievable ending in the history of the world! And we don't even know who won! Buggity, 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 boys! Let's go racing! Come on, you can do it! Come on, King, make us proud, boy! 50 laps down, and the King is still holding a slim lead. Hey, McQueen's got a run on him. He's looking to the inside. Oh, Chick slammed the door on him. Chick's not making it easy on him today. Oh, man, he lost so much momentum, and now he's going to have to chase him back down. McQueen passes them on the inside. But he's still nearly a lap. Can he catch up to them with only 60 laps to go? Oh, kid's just trying to be a hero, huh? Well, what do you think of this? Yeah, that's it, kid. What? What a move by McQueen. He's caught up to the leaders. Oh, yeah. This is what it's all about. A three-way battle for the lead with 10 to go. You want to beat Storm, you need someone to stand in for. Like a sparring partner. I'm not so sure. Not a racer. <laughs> Just a trainer. Go ahead and gun it. No muffler. You even sound like Storm. <laughs> oh, you're going down, McQueen. Get that arthritis riddle keister onto the track so I can put you into the old folks' home against your will. How is that? That'll work. Work for me. I I'm good. Yeah, that'll do. Look at what she said. You didn't show up in Florida for qualifying, so you'll be starting dead last. I'll give you three laps to catch her. Go through the entire field in three laps? You want to beat Storm or not? Yes, of course I do. Well then, go! <laughs> Come on, kid. All right. Looks like we 
we got some work to do. Look alive! Reflexes are the first thing to go! Ah! Ah! Why are we in a field? Snake through that window! What does that mean? I don't know. Go! Gotta work harder! Speed. I am speed. <laughs> really? Your speed? Then Francesco is triple speed. Francesco is triple speed. Oh, Francesco likes this McQueen. He's really getting him into the zone. You're so getting beat today. The suspension stats look good. Tire pressure is excellent. He's got plenty of fuel. And he's awesome. As they head into the palace hairpin, Francesco builds an early lead. Oh, hang on, boys. Here comes the dirt. Slipping and sliding, baby. McQueen, it's time to make your move. Get on the outside and then show them what Doc done taught you. Ten four, man. Oh, boy. Francesco's brought to a screeching halt. Lightning like McQueen is the first to take advantage. And just like that, folks, Francesco's lead is left in the dust. Nice call, Peter. Keep it up. Yeah. Man, McQueen looks happier than a roll bar in a demolition derby. Everyone's jostling for position as we hit the asphalt again. Francesco lost a lot of momentum in the dirt. Well, he's got some serious work ahead of him if he wants to get back in this race. I'll stay as close as I can. Your suit will transmit your speeds to Hamilton. Fine, whatever. Let's do this. Quicker than quick, faster than fast, I am speed. Come on, Luigi. On your mark. Catch us. Let's go. 46 miles per hour. 63 miles. Out of range. Out of range. Out of range. Huh. That's odd. I didn't go. On sand, you gotta ease into your start so your tires can grab, okay? Okay. You do work with race cars, don't you? Yeah, but never outside. All right, let's go again. Go! 54 miles per hour. There you go! 75 miles per hour. Out of range. Out huh? of range. Out of range. Sorry! Got stuck! Go again! And to go! <laughs> Sorry! Go! Go! The beach ate me. All right, Cruz, pick a line on the compacted sand. You gotta have traction or you're gonna spin out. Let's do this thing. On your mark, get set to go. 122 miles per hour. 134 miles. Out of range. Out of range. Out of range. Now what? I didn't want to hit a crab. You gotta be kidding me. What? It was cute. <sighs> Try this before it gets dark. Now, you're gonna take off slow to let your tires grab. Yes. And pick a straight line on hard sand so you don't spin out. Uh-huh. And all of the crabbies have gone night-night. Mr. McQueen. All right, let's go again. Let's go. 150 miles per hour. 175 miles per hour. 196 miles per hour. Daryl, the race 
racers are settling in as they head to the Italian countryside. Woo boy! This is gonna be a great race! The racers are now making their way around the hairpin and headed downhill toward the casino bridge. What happened behind them? This is impossible. That's what I'm talking about. Ka-chow! What, what, what happened? Where are all the other cars? What is going on? Oh, no. Here we go. The racers are at the start at the Wheelwell Motel. They'll be racing in four heats. The order in which they finish each race is how they'll start the next one. They're all lined up, and here we go! Strip Weathers in the lead as they go over the bridge. Lightning McQueen behind him in second. The King is first through turn two. Billy Oil Changer gets spun around. Here they go around Willie's Butte, and the King will take the win on race one. Lightning McQueen appeared to be taunting Chick Hicks. Let's see a replay of what happened. Keep an eye on the number 95 Lightning McQueen. And right there, I believe that's what he calls a ka -chow. Billy Oil Changer not looking too happy out there. He's going to pull over for an early pit stop. And here we go with race number two of four. Strip Weathers and Lightning McQueen in the front row. Chick Hicks and Billy Oil Changer in the back row. And they're off for the second race. The King in the lead once again. This time Chick Hicks behind him in second. Lightning McQueen falls back to third. The King goes flying to the corner. Lightning McQueen spins out of control. Billy Oil Changer has crashed. Now the King spins out. Oh, and a questionable move by Chick Hicks, shoving the King Strip Weathers off the track. The crowd does not seem too happy about that. The King appears to be okay. Chick Hicks and the King certainly have a history together in the Piston Cup. Billy Oil Changer is upside down. Lightning McQueen right there with him. Let's go to the replay. You can see Lightning McQueen gets spun around. He's going in reverse. Then he goes into a wild spin, and that sends Billy Oil Changer upside down. Strip Weathers had a big lead. He lost control going around Willie's Butte. But then look at Chick Hicks. A direct hit into the front end of the King. This just in the race officials have decided to disqualify that win for Chick Hicks due to unsportsmanlike conduct. Chick Hicks will start the next race in the pole position, but that win will not count. Pela ponta direita que o zagueiro adversário chuta para o escanteio. E o lançamento é feito para o 
meio do gramado e começa a confusão entre as duas equipes. É um cura de lá, um cura de cá, mas o juiz manda um seguir o jogo. Cruzamento agora vem da ponta esquerda em direção ao atacante que vem de poleiro na marquinha do... Sheriff, is he making another run for it? No, no. He ran out of asphalt in the middle of the night and asked me if he could come down here. All he's trying to do is make that their turn. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, great. Huh. Perfect turns on every track I've ever raced on. Sheriff, why don't you go get yourself a quart of oil that flows? I'll keep an eye on him. Well, thanks, Doc. I've been feeling a quart low.
This ain't asphalt, son. This is dirt. Oh, great. What do you want? You here to gloat? You don't have three-wheel brakes, so you gotta pitch it hard, break it loose, and, and just drive it with a throttle. Give it too much, you'll be out of the dirt and into the tulips. So you're a judge, a doctor, and a racing expert. I'll put it simple. If you're going hard enough left, you'll find yourself turning right. Oh, right. That makes perfect sense. Turn right to go left. Yes! Thank you! Or should I say no thank you? Because in opposite world, maybe that really means thank you! <laughs> Crazy grandpa car. What an idiot. <laughs> to go left. Oh. 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 Ow. Oh. Ow. Salt Fever is in the air as we're back at the Salt Flats for another exciting day of racing. We've got four cars all the way from Radiator Springs joining us today. Up first, he's the local law enforcement for Radiator Springs, it's Sheriff! Then we have the race car who put Radiator Springs back on the map, it's none other than Lightning McQueen! The first car to win two races will advance on to the final round. Rumor has it these two have raced before under a different set of circumstances. Here they go for the first race. Lightning McQueen takes off with a burst of speed. Sheriff now dragging behind. This is not what I would call a hot pursuit. And Lightning McQueen will take the easy win for race one. A little shove there by Sheriff and Lightning McQueen pushes back. Sheriff needs to pick up the pace on this next one, otherwise it's going to be Lightning McQueen moving on to the final round. And they're off! Lightning McQueen back in the lead. Sheriff starting to fall behind, can he catch up? Lightning McQueen moving fast! And Lightning McQueen will win his second race in a row! A relatively easy win for Lightning McQueen. To be fair though, he is a Piston Cup champion race car. It's going to be hard for anyone not racing at that level to keep up with him. With those two wins, Lightning McQueen will advance on to the final round. Let's see who's up next. He's the owner of Ramon's House of Body Art in Radiator Springs. It's Ramon! He'll be racing against everybody's favorite tow truck, Mater! Neither of these two are race cars, so this should be interesting. Tow Mater versus Low and Slow Ramon. Here they go for the first race. Ramon in the lead. Mater right on his tail. It's a close one here. Mater looking to pass, but Ramon keeps him in the back to win race one. Ooh, watch that paint, Ramon. I guess he can fix that himself. They're back to the start. One more win for Ramon, and he moves on to the finals. Can Mater tie the score? And they're off for race two. Ramon back out in front. For a car whose license plate reads low and slow, Ramon can really move. Maynard trying to close in on him, but he just cannot catch up to Ramon, who wins his second race. That was some fast driving by Ramon. I thought we were just going to see him cruise, but he came to race. Salt Fever can really bring that out of a car. With those two wins, Ramon will be moving on to the finals. So it's going to be Ramon versus Lightning McQueen. Here we go, they're lined up to race. Can Ramon keep up with a real Piston Cup race car? And they're off! So far it's a close race, Lightning McQueen with a slight edge. Ramon still keeping up. Lightning McQueen starting to create some separation here. And race one goes to Lightning McQueen. Lightning McQueen showing how it's done, but surprisingly Ramon kept up with him throughout the race. One more win for Lightning McQueen and he'll be today's winner. Here they go! Both racers side by side, Lightning McQueen now taking the lead. It's still a close race. Lightning McQueen weaving back and forth. Whoa, Lightning McQueen goes off course. He takes out the flag car and his assistant. That was a wild turn of events. 
Lightning McQueen had the lead, but he failed to cross the finish line, so that race will go to Ramon. Let's see that again. His tire hits the right barrier, then he veers to the left, knocking over Guido and Luigi. But good news, everyone is all right. Lightning McQueen and Ramon making sure their friends are okay. Both cars now have one win each. The next one across that finish line will be the winner. Will it be Ramon or Lightning McQueen? They're off for the final race. Ramon with a slight lead over Lightning McQueen. This is a really tight race here. They are side to side locked together. Lightning McQueen now starting to advance. He cuts off Ramon. And Lightning McQueen will pass up Ramon for the win. I did not expect that race to be so close. That was some fast driving by Ramon, but today's winner is Lightning McQueen. The following contains clips from Disney Pixar's Cars 3, now available on Blu-ray and DVD. I'll stay as close as I can. Your suit will transmit your speeds to Hamilton. Fine, whatever. Let's do this. Quicker than quick, faster than fast, I am speed. Come on, Luigi. On your mark, catch us, uh, and go! 46 miles per hour, 63 miles out of range, out of range, out of range. Huh, that's odd. I didn't go! On sand, you gotta ease into your start so your tires can grab, okay? Okay. You do work with race cars, don't you? Yeah, but never outside. All right, let's go again. Go! 54 miles per hour. There you go. 75 miles per hour. Out of range. Out huh? of range. Out of range. Sorry. Got stuck. Go again. And to go. <laughs> Sorry. Go. Go. The beach ate me. All right, Cruz, pick a line on the compacted sand. You gotta have traction or you're gonna spin out. Let's do this thing. On your mark. Get set to go. 122 miles per hour. 134 miles. Out of range. Out of range. Out of range. Now what? I didn't want to hit a crab. You gotta be kidding me. What? It was cute. <sighs> All right, one last chance to try this before it gets dark. Now, you're gonna take off slow to let your tires grab. Yes. And pick a straight line on hard sand so you don't spin out. Uh-huh. And all all of the Krabbies have gone night night. Mr. McQueen. All right, let's go again. Let's go. 150 miles per hour. 175 miles per hour. 196 miles per hour. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. All right, finally, you made it. Congratulations. Yeah. Here we are back at the Salt Flats for some more racing. We've got some race cars from the Piston Cup joining us today, so it should be an action-packed event. First up we have number 51, driving for Dynaco, Cruz Ramirez. She'll be facing off against next-gen racer, number 20, Jackson Storm. The racers are lined up at the start. The first car to win two races will advance on to the final round. Here they go. Jackson Storm leading the way. Cruz Ramirez trying to keep up. Ramirez now closing the gap on Jackson Storm. Ramirez overtakes Storm and wins race one. Jackson Storm does not appear to be too happy about that. Looking at the replay, Jackson Storm was very fast off the line. Cruz Ramirez gradually building up her speed. That gave her the advantage at the end of the race to pass up Storm and take the win. Here we go, they're back to the start for race two. One more win for Cruz Ramirez and she moves on to the finals. And they're off. This time it's Cruz Ramirez first off the line. Jackson Storm trying to catch up. Can Cruz Ramirez maintain the speed throughout the entire race? Yes, she can. Whoa, Jackson Storm taking out his frustration on the traffic cones. Let's see that one more time. A rough finish for Jackson Storm, losing both races to Cruz Ramirez. Up next, we have a legend in the racing world. He's also driving for Dynaco. It's number 43, the King Strip Weathers. 
he'll be racing against his longtime rival, number 86, Chick Hicks. These two have a lot of history in the Piston Cup. Let's see how they do racing on the Salt Flats. Here we go with race one. Chick Hicks pulling ahead, pushing the King into the barrier. The King is stuck. Chick has a reputation for driving a little dirty. It appears that has not changed. And Chick Hicks wins race one. A very unsportsmanlike win for Chick Hicks. Pushing the King around like that is nothing to be proud of. They're back at the start. Let's see if the King can win this race to even the score. There they go. The King with a burst of speed off the starting line. Chick Hicks not far behind. Chick Hicks trying to catch up to the King. He's getting close. It's a tight race, but the King pulls it off to win race two. A very close race. That's exactly what you expect from these two top competitors in the sport of racing. Okay, here we go. The next car to pass the finish line moves on to the finals. And they're off. The King and Chick Hicks side by side. Chick pushing on the side of the King, but he's not letting up. This is intense. It's a real fight out there. They're neck and neck. Who's gonna win? And I don't know who won. A photo finish on the last race. We're gonna have to go to the instant replay to find out who's the winner. Here they are side by side. It's still hard to tell. Let's get a little closer. And it's the King Strip Weathers who takes the win by a nose. Wow, that was close. That means the King will be racing against Cruz Ramirez in an all Dynaco race. Two cars from different generations, both representing for the same team. Regardless of who comes in first, Dynaco wins. Here we go for the first race. The King pulls out in front to lead the way. Cruz Ramirez starting to fall behind. The King looking really good out there. And he will pass the finish line first to win the race. Ramirez taps it back into the King. A little back and forth exchange between the two racers after the finish line. No doubt there's some friendly rivalry going on. One more win for the King and he will be the winner. They're off for race two. Cruz Ramirez takes the lead. She's weaving back and forth. This may be her strategy to block the King. And it appears to have worked. Whoa! The King takes a bad tumble at the finish line, rolling his car multiple times, flipping over the barrier. We're gonna get a truck down there to help him out. In the meantime, let's go to the replay. The King hits the right barrier, pops up onto that cone, and wow, that was a bad crash. But it appears the King is okay. Cruz Ramirez out there checking on him. That's what good sportsmanship is all about. Okay, this is it. Both racers are tied with one win. The next driver to pass the finish line will be the winner. Will it be the King Strip Weathers or Cruz Ramirez? And they're off for the last race. It's a close one, they're side by side. Cruz Ramirez starting to pull ahead now. The King right there behind her. Cruz weaving back and forth again. I think she's got it. And Cruz Ramirez does it. Outpacing the King in the final race for the win. A great performance today by Cruz Ramirez. She's got the speed, determination, sportsmanship, and that's why Cruz Ramirez is a winner. I'm telling you, man, every third blink is slower. The 60s weren't good to you, were they? That's not the interstate!
Fly away, Stanley. Be free. <laughs> Boy, you're in a heap of trouble. And welcome back. Here we are at the Salt Flats for Speed Week. I hope you got salt fever because it is time for some racing. We've got four different cars from different classes to compete in today's race. Let's take a look at our first two racers. Up first, we have number eight, Dats Jammin. He'll be racing against Piston Cup champion, number 95, Lightning McQueen. Hey, is that a new paint job? Here we go, the first car to win two races will advance on to the final round. As we like to say around here, watch out for the Speed Demon. And they're off for the first race. It's a close one, Lightning McQueen is now pulling ahead. Dats Jammin is falling behind. This race may already be over. Lightning McQueen is looking fast. And Lightning McQueen will take the win on race one while Dats Jammin takes down all the cones. Let's see a replay of that finish. If this was bowling, that would be a strike. Unfortunately for Dats Jammin, this is not bowling. This is a race. That's one win for Lightning McQueen, one more, and he'll advance on to the final round. The racers are back at the start. And here they go for race two. Lightning McQueen off to a fast start. Dats Jammin is way behind. Lightning McQueen is really moving. Let's check the speed. 182. 182 miles per hour by Lightning McQueen. Wow. Top speeds are exactly why racers come out to the salt flats. A very fast speed by Lightning McQueen as he advances on to the final round. Let's get to our next two racers. Up first we have Royce Revsley. He'll be racing against Revo Koss. The winner of this race will face off against Lightning McQueen in the final round. And they're off for the first race. Royce Revsley pulls in front of Revo Koss. That little car's got some power. Revo Koss is disappearing into the distance. And race one will go to Royce Revsley. So far, this looks like a one sided race. I don't know if Revo Koss has what it takes to keep up with Royce Revsley. He was first off the start, but right away, Royce Revsley cut him off, and it was all over from there. Here we go with race two. One more win for Royce Revsley, and he moves on to the final round. And there they go down the flats for race two. Look at that, Revo Koss is out in the lead this time. Royce Revsley is trying to catch up. I think Revo Koss just needed to get warmed up. And race two goes to Revo Koss. Ooh, whoa! -ho! A rough finish by both racers. Here's the replay. Revo Koss almost flipped over and Royce Revsley ends up on top of a cone. Ouch. Here we go, this race will determine who advances on to the final round. And they're off. Both racers side by side. It's a close race here. Here comes Royce Revsley pulling ahead. He's looking fast. What does he have under that hood? 165. 165 mile per hour top speed for Royce Revsley as he advances on to the final round to race against Lightning McQueen. Here we go with the final round. Royce Revsley versus Lightning McQueen. The first racer to win two will be the winner. Will it be racing legend Lightning McQueen or Royce Revsley? Here they go for race one. Revsley is first off the line. Lightning McQueen not too far behind. Lightning McQueen trying to catch up, but Royce Revsley is not slowing down. It's gonna be a close one all the way to the finish. And Royce Revsley takes the win on the first race. That was an intense race. Lightning McQueen keeping up with Royce Revsley all the way down the line, but he was not able to overcome that lead that Royce Revsley had off the start. One more win for Revsley and he is the winner. And here they go for race two. This time it's Lightning McQueen first off the line. Royce Revsley closing in on Lightning McQueen. He taps his back end. And there's another hit from Revsley, but Lightning, whoa! Lightning McQueen gets rolled at the finish. That looked like a bad wreck. Let's go to the replay to see what happened. Lightning McQueen cuts off Royce Revsley, slams into the barrier. That sends him sideways, rolls his car as he finishes this race upside down. 
Luckily for Lightning McQueen, he didn't travel alone. His buddy Mater is here to help him out. Okay, the racers are back at the start. They both have one win each. The next car to pass the finish line will be the winner. Will it be Lightning McQueen or Royce Revsley? We're about to find out. And they're off for the final race. Both cars side by side. Lightning McQueen starting to pull ahead now. Royce Revsley falling behind. This has got to be a fast time for Lightning McQueen. Look at him go. 198. 198 miles per hour by Lightning McQueen. Ka-chow. That was some great racing today. There were a lot of fast cars out there on the flats, but there can only be one winner, and that winner is Lightning McQueen. Okay, here we go, here we go. How do I do this? Come on, baby. Mr. McQueen. Cruz, thank you for the old man training, as crazy as it was. But I'm warmed up enough, and now I need you to launch this thing. Mr. McQueen, wait until you can handle it, please. There are no shortcuts. OK, we'll just see about that. All right, my star racer is on the simulator. Why, yes, I am. Well, let's see you take it out for a spin. Right away, Mr. Sterling, owner of the company. OK, have fun. This is what I'm talking about. Whoa, didn't know about those. Prepare oh. to race. Wait, what did it say? Is it the talking? The green flag is up. I don't see the flag. What do I do? Go. Go? Go. Oh, that's sensitive. You have hit a wall. It shouldn't be this hard, should it? You have ah. hit a wall. You're fighting the simulator. Just race like you always do. You have Whoa. hit a wall. There can't be this many walls on a regular track! You have been passed by Jackson Storm. Wait, Storm's in here? For motivation! Storm races at 207! Pick it up, Mr. McQueen! I'm trying! You have hit a wall. Mr. McQueen, come down from there and we'll work you up to this. I am fine, Cruz! I can do it, okay? Whoa, 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 whoa! You have jumped a barrier. You have made two vehicles. You have destroyed a drinking fountain. You have disabled an ambulance. You are on fire. Danger. Danger. You are going the wrong way. Look out! Look out! Turn it off! Turn it off! Get these things off of me! You have crashed. You have crashed. Are you all right? You have crashed. I have crashed. We're live at Radiator Springs, the gateway to Ornament Valley, for a special presentation of the Racing Sports Network. It's the Radiator Springs All-Stars Race. Some of the biggest names in racing will be competing today in four heats, starting at the Wheelwell Motel and racing down here to Willie's Butte. Let's go over to Gogo Logano to see who will be racing in today's race. When it comes to all-stars of racing, there's no bigger name than the King Strip Weathers. He's had an unprecedented run with seven Piston Cup championships under his belt. The King is racing royalty and a legend in the sport. Then we have racing sensation Lightning McQueen, who's no stranger to the Piston Cup himself. He's brought a whole new style of racing to the track. Whenever you see Lightning McQueen, you're in for a show. Next up is Chick Hicks, a racing veteran with a chip on his shoulder. He's probably known for more second place finishes than Piston Cups. Keep an eye on him because he doesn't always play nice on the track. And last up is Billy Oil Changer, a race car with dreams of becoming a racing commentator one day after he retires. Billy's driving for Octane Gain Turbo Vitamins. Here we go, the racers are at the start at the Wheelwell Motel. They'll be racing in four heats. The order in which they finish each race is how they'll start the next one. They're all lined up, and here we go! Strip Weathers in the lead as they go over the bridge. Lightning McQueen behind him in second. The King is first through turn two. Billy Oil Changer gets spun around. Here they go around Willie's Butte, and the King will take the win on race one. Lightning McQueen appeared to be taunting Chick Hicks. Let's see a replay of what happened. Keep an eye on the number 95 Lightning McQueen. And right there, I believe that's what he calls a ka-chow. Billy Oil Changer not looking too happy out there. He's gonna pull over for an early pit stop. 
And here we go with race number two of four. Strip Weathers and Lightning McQueen in the front row, Chick Hicks and Billy Oil Changer in the back row. And they're off for the second race. The King in the lead once again, this time Chick Hicks behind him in second. Lightning McQueen falls back to third. The King goes flying through the corner. Lightning McQueen spins out of control. Billy Oil Changer has crashed. Now the King spins out. Oh, and a questionable move by Chick Hicks, shoving the King Strip Weathers off the track. The crowd does not seem too happy about that. The King appears to be okay. Chick Hicks and the King certainly have a history together in the Piston Cup. Billy Oil Changer is upside down. Lightning McQueen right there with him. Let's go to the replay. You can see Lightning McQueen gets spun around. He's going in reverse. Then he goes into a wild spin, and that sends Billy Oil Changer upside down. Strip Weathers had a big lead. He lost control going around Willie's Butte. But then look at Chick Hicks. A direct hit into the front end of the King. This just in the race officials have decided to disqualify that win for Chick Hicks due to unsportsmanlike conduct. Chick Hicks will start the next race in the pole position, but that win will not count. Chick Hicks clearly not happy about that call by the officials. Towing for today's race is provided by Towmaters Towing and Salvage, the best towing service you'll find here in Radiator Springs. It doesn't matter if you have a flat or you just stalled out, Towmater will get her done. Chick Hicks starting off on the front left, the King Strip Weathers on the front right. And there they go down the track for race three. They're across the bridge, the King taking the lead back from Chick Hicks. Chick in second place behind the King, something he's very used to. The King loses control again, and here comes Chick Hicks with a pass. He takes the checkered flag and is now tied with the King, one win each. The King having a lot of trouble here on the dirt track at Willie's Butte. I'm guessing he may not be used to dirt track racing. A great move there by Chick Hicks, and this time it wasn't a dirty move. That's going to bring us to our fourth and final race. This race will determine the Radiator Springs All-Stars Race winner. Can Chick Hicks pull off a win against the King, or will Lightning McQueen or Billy Oil Changer come from behind to create a three-way tie? There they go down the track for the final race. It's a tight race between Chick Hicks and the King. Chick Hicks takes the lead. The King is not far behind. Lightning McQueen in third. Chick Hicks now pulling ahead, he spins out. Here comes the King. Oh my, what a win by the King Strip Weathers. He was behind Chick Hicks that entire race, waiting for an opportunity to pass, and he pulls it off right at the finish line. That right there is why they call him the King. An absolutely amazing race by the King Strip Weathers. Tex Dynaco out there trackside cheering him on. The King, once again, making Team Dynaco proud. Yeah. 
a right to go left. That doesn't make any sense. Her right to go left. Touches him. <gasps> he is mine. You go get down, Whipple Builder. Come on, McQueen. You can do it. Come on, lady. Keep going. Miss Fritter's looking to get up right, folks. She is not clean. You are about to feel the wrath of the Lower Bell Bell County Unified School District.
I'm Max, and it's high time I show this track this boss. I'm Victoria. Focus and precision is the name of the game. I'm Taj. Consider this class, because I'm going to school everyone here. I'm Elijah, and I'm all about speed. Today we are at the Irwindale Speedway in Irwindale, California to check out our Jackson Storm and Lightning McQueen RC cars to see who will take home the Piston Cup. That's right, and of course it's going to be Lightning McQueen. ka Uh, I think you mean Jackson Storm. Yeah, Next Gen Racing is where it's at. Well, whoever wins. We all win when you think about it because we get to take these cars and race them around the track. I can't believe we're really here. That's right, and these babies might be small, but they got a lot of power. And of course, they're sold separately. This Speedway is home to so many epic racers every year, and we finally get to experience firsthand what it's really like to be on the track. All right, guys, let's go. Wow, let's go. Okay, time to go over the rules. Who's ready? Me. Me. This is a one lap race around the half mile track. Each team has its own cars, and has its own pit crew sheet. The racers will race around the track to the pit area. Once reaching the pit area, the pit crew will then take the cars and switch their old tires for new ones and put them back on the track for the big finish. Any questions? How are we gonna keep all up in the action, like in range of the RC cars? I'm glad you asked. Wow! wow. Look at this! Our pace car here is going to drive us around the track as we race. And of course, with adult supervision, we'll always be able to be connected with our cars. Let's do this thing! Yeah, yeah let's Who's race! Ready to race? race? Let's, do let's get ready to race. Ready to eat my dust? Uh, no, not today. Are you ready to look better in my rear view mirror? Oh, it's on. This is gonna be crazy. Gotta bubble up. Hey, okay. All right, you ready? You ready to get beaten? You ready to lose? Not today. Let's do this. On your marks, get set, go! Go, 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 go. woo! Yeah, turn! Oh, come on! No! Eat my desk. No thanks. I said no thing. No, I can't go back there. I can't roast you right now. Win for me, I can't go. Come on, let's go, let's go. Yes. Woo! Come on, Jackson, let's go. Jackson Storm is winning! Goodbye! Woo! Uh-oh, uh, -oh. uh no! Oh, you're going down. No, you are. Come on. Pull it. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on. Go, Taj, come on, let's go. Come on, change up those tires. You got this, Taj, come on, let's do this. You can do it, Elijah. I'm almost there, guys, I'm faster than Guido. Nice work. I'm gonna take home that trophy. Whatever. The first two tires are done. You got this. Come on. So close, guys, so close. Good job. Team McQueen all the way. Team Storm, whatever the weather. 
We missed. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cool. Yeah. And you know what else is really cool? This track. Yeah, I never want to leave. Me neither. Want to race again? Sure. Hey! <laughs>